Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and I have a new update for 3D artists. If you're a 3D artist and you have a Windows tablet, this is a great channel for you to subscribe to. So go ahead and subscribe right now and click that notification icon. So we added some features to Tablet Pro uh, that I'm really excited about. The first one is a drag from location. So this button is going to drag from right here. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm really excited about it because that means, uh, watch up here for draw size, that we can control sliders with Tablet Pro. And that makes me so incredibly excited. Uh, so here, we're going to rotate the model, we're going to zoom in, we're going to pan, we're going to draw, and I'm going to adjust the size of the brush. And that is so fast and so smooth and works so well. All right, so we're going to undo. Uh, so we're going to draw a little bit, then we're going to smooth. We can't see that, right? So let's increase the size of the brush and smooth again. You can see that smooth out. Let's zoom in and pan over. I'm super happy with how this is working. Now, typically on a Surface Pro 7 or a Surface device, um, well, probably in a lot of different uh, devices, there's a ton of lag in ZBrush. And I figured out recently, you go into Preferences, Performance, bring max threads down to six, and that lag goes away, and it's wonderful. All right, in the description of this video, I'm also going to include a WinTab driver. Oh, I have a zip file. WinTab driver, um, the uh, newest version of Tablet Pro. Uh, which is the one that supports the drag frames from location, and also um, instructions on how to get this pen. And I'm going to explain why I think you need this pen specifically. Uh, for those of you who've been watching the channel, you understand uh, I'm a huge fan, and I just started carrying these in my shop. So it's a magnetic stylus, just like the Surface Pen, and it has two buttons on the side. This is the eraser, and this is the right click. So if you're using a regular surface pen and you try and use a side button, you get rotate. Okay, this is our right click behavior. If you're using a two button pen, we can draw, press the side button, the erase button, and you can subtract. Draw and subtract, the button's easy to press. And this has uh, tilt support and recharges uh, with micro USB. So that's why I highly recommend using the R520 stylus. It's 50 bucks. And uh, I'm selling it right now with a um, free license to the uh, Tablet Pro Pen Tool. So you can remap the side buttons to whatever you want them to be. And also uh, doing free shipping for uh, US orders as well as $10 off international shipping. All right. So the artist pad, like I said, I'll put this in the description. Um, oh, and one other thing that you want to keep in mind, uh, when you're saving your files, a lot of people have problems losing pen pressure inside a ZBrush. Uh, you're going to want to save in the same folder that all of these files right here are by default. So inside of Z projects is where you're going to want to store your files in order to keep pressure. Uh, unless they've done an update and fixed this, uh, that's going to be a big deal. Um, let's see. All right, so let's go into quickly how you set this up on your device. This is set up for a Surface Pro 7 resolution. So over here we have our uh, move button. Our move button is in a different spot here. Like if I close this and I try and use the move tool, it thinks that the move button is right here. Well, the move button's not there. So you want to keep in mind that when you're using this, you're going to keep you want to keep your layout uh, the same. Not too hard to do. You can go into preferences, config, and save your UI and store your UI um, in order to keep this uh, working consistently. All right. So how in Tablet Pro do you set up one of these buttons? All right. So Tablet Pro Manager, we're going to keep this minimized so that you can easily see these buttons over here with the pen tool on again which is free or five bucks from the store if you haven't bought the uh, stylus from me all right so you're going to put the cursor right here you're going to hit alt 
x, you can see the coordinates copied. And then you just go down here, and since this is the button we're using right here, you would just paste it into here. This is drag location. And these, by the way, are the last options. I recommend just using the, um, the ZBrush file that I have by default, uh, and then modifying it to do your evil bidding. So these are down here. And um, you just click it, it's that easy. Uh, up here, the tools, right, Alt X, right here, that's going to give us the coordinates. So this tool button right here, you input that right over here, and just paste it in. So pretty simple, and then just save and restore. If you haven't used Tablet Pro before, please watch the Getting Started Guide, because that'll go through um, a number of things that you're going to want to know how to do before you start trying to figure this out on your own. It, it is not as uh, intuitive as we want it to be yet but we have some big changes coming all right i think that's pretty much everything um just have fun and if you guys are enjoying this please give me a thumbs up uh, also i'd love to see work that you guys are making with zbrush and the artist pad um uh, that always excites me and motivates me to keep making tablet pro better and a huge shout out and thank you to takashi for his hard work in doing all the programming for for uh, tablet pro I forgot one thing. The uh, pen tool can be purchased from the Windows Store. Again, I have the link in the description. Again, it's free if you buy the R520 stylus. Uh, once you run it, so here that icon looks like this, and you can find it over here in uh, Tablet Pro, right here. You're gonna run it. It's gonna make just a. It's gonna put a little icon right down here. Uh, when you double click that, uh, or you can right click and choose Show Settings. This is how you set it up in order to get uh, these that that Alt X to get your pixel location. Uh, we also just added something new and neat. This is click locations here, so you can toggle between locations. If you wanted to click this spot and then the next turn, click this spot. You can press the button and it'll go back and forth. So you can have it do two tools. Two tools. All right. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.